Well, welcome to the Biz Bros Podcast. My name is Kyle Nelson. I'm my co-host here. Hey, man. It's Eli Levy. How you doing, man? I'm very, very excited. <clears throat> Eardrums will still kind of ring in from the, the little test test part of the, in the, in the show, <laughs> yeah, but I'm doing good. Pre-production was funny. Uh, anyways, oh, yeah. um, we got a really good um, <clears throat> guest today. We're very excited for this episode. We're going to talk to a best-selling award-winning author about why every Ooh. entrepreneur needs a book. Um, it's going to be good. It's, it's going to be, be packed good. with nuggets. But before Looking we get forward. started, let's talk about this little nugget right here. Our show sponsor, Altitude Everything Latte. This stuff has got oat milk, CBD, nitro cold brew, and so many good superfoods, including turmeric, cordyceps, lion's mane, reishi, chaga mushrooms. It's going to get you moving. 30 milligrams of CBD. Start your day off with this, and you'll be fueled like us. Go to altitudebev.com, and you will not regret buying some. Before we get started, let's roll the intro. What's going on? Welcome to the Biz Bros Podcast. My name's Kyle Nelson. I've got my great co-host and good friend here, Mr. Eli Lynn. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. It's the episode, man. Today, man. Absolutely. We're really Can't excited wait. for this episode. We've got a great yep. guest. Absolutely. Number two, clear, simple Why? images. Amazon Summer. The first thing that I follow about in this article is really looking for that initial pressure. You need to be thinking about product photography and video production. All right, today's guest is Aurora Winter, MBA. She's a best-selling and award-winning author, TV producer, media coach, ghostwriter, and successful serial entrepreneur. Aurora uses her filmmaking expertise in neuroscience to help people communicate and get results, whether it's raising seven figures for a startup, negotiating for a raise, or enrolling a new client. You ready to write a book in your life? You want to create multiple streams of income with your success, successful business brand and book? Then stay tuned. Welcome Ooh. to the show, Aurora. Hey, so great to be on with you, Kyle and Eli, and I love your new music to get going. Thank you. Yeah, what'd you. What'd you think? Yeah, oh, you it's so awesome. Cool. Really, I was dancing. It's yeah, good. absolutely. Good. Thank Man, our video guy for that. Yes. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, you found the found a good song. Kind of gets a loose before. It does. It does. So, Aurora. Um, welcome back to the show. We had some hiccups with our first one, yes. but now we have you back <clears> on, kind of for the first time, but the second time. Um, let our guests know, or not our guests, let our listen, <laughs> listeners know a little bit about you. How did you get started? How did you become a best-selling, award-winning author, TV producer, media coach, entrepreneur, all this stuff? Where did it all start from? All right. Well, I'll get into that in just a second, Kyle. But first, I want people to know the benefit of listening to this show is that I'll help them turn their words into wealth. So oh, thanks for asking about me, you. but it's all about the audience, right? Oh, yeah, nice. So we're going to I'm going to talk about some ways that I've turned words into wealth that my clients have and that super famous people that you've heard about, like Winston Churchill or Tim Ferriss, mm -hmm. have turned their words into wealth. Oh, but nice. back, to, back to my story, I've That's always been obsessed perfect. with words. I've been a writer since I was nine years old. And I just love, love, love helping people fulfill their dream of becoming an author. And it's so mm. common that people want to become an author, mm. but then they stare at a blank page and uh, nothing comes out or drivel comes out and they get discouraged. So I focus specifically on helping uh, entrepreneurs and leaders write best-selling award-winning books that build their business and their brand and help them create multiple streams of income and impact. Ooh. Amazing. Amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> What is the spark behind that? What is, it, is your passion behind it? Where did that come from? Is there a spot you can kind of identify? Back to tipping the, point. Where tipping point. Boom. <clears throat> tipping point. Spark. Uh, well, there's so many, but uh, uh, one that I like to share is when I was nine years old, I was loving reading C.S. Lewis's Narnia series. Oh, and I, oh. remem I remember getting up on like tippy toe to reach the last book in that series. Okay. And I just felt this electric jolt of energy as I touched that book, which mm. is called The Last Battle. Because I was both like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I got one more adventure in the Narnia series. And then also it was anticipatory dread. And I was like, the last book, yeah. <laughs> you know, a little, like, a little anticipatory <laughs> grief, I guess. And so yeah. I really, it floored me in that moment how magical it is 
to be able to transport somebody to a another place in time, even an imaginary place in time, with just little black dots of ink on white paper. And mm. I, I just couldn't imagine anything more magical. It's like a superpower. And so that's launched my desire to you wow. know, become a great communicator, led to me being in film and television. And now, you know, led to me, I've written more than six books because you don't count the ones that I've ghost written. And I'm, I've helped yep. a bunch of authors raise capital, um, raise awareness, launch movements, do TED Talks and publish their books. So, so cool. The impact the is impact. amazing. Absolutely. Like that is so cool. The well, when you think about it, yeah, exactly. Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. No. But you were going to say something about the domino? Yeah. No, just the the domino effect and from the impact that a book and all of, you know, everything you're just talking about can actually do for your brand and business. Yeah. It's it's amazing. And a book is uh is so beautifully combined with video. So, you know, mm -hmm. leaders and entrepreneurs and experts or people who want to launch a movement or launch awareness, I mean, their best one-two punch is videos they should contact biz brothers to get their videos done <laughs> and then a book because the videos are immediate mm. they're visceral they're visual and yet you know most people don't have them on their bookshelf so mm. a book has got the longevity and so those two things together combine beautifully and both myself as well as my clients and well as many famous people i could mention have launched marketing funnels using a book and then following up with videos to add value and they've created you know seven figure income streams so that's really one great way to go but if you think about it we don't we don't think enough in my view you probably do you too Kyle and Eli, but most people don't think about the value of their communication, but it's the highest leverage tool in your marketing toolkit is what are you communicating and how is it being broadcast or shared? So one of the things I love about video is it creates connection, totally. intimacy, authenticity. You get the person's vibe, you get their energy. You go, yeah, that's the right person for me. I want to work with Eli yeah. and Kyle. I love them. Um, the cool thing about a book is it adds also authority. Mm. The root word of the word authority is author. And right. anytime you're in any kind of sales situation, if you are higher status, the sales call is going to go better. The enrolling conversation is going to go better. So by becoming a published author, my clients benefit from that authority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how, do, how does somebody present that they're a best-selling author? Like in sale, like what you're kind of talking about. Like, how, is it more like they'll see it in the signature or if they LinkedIn, they do research or um, from like the I think pitch? It's, something I think, up that's natural or? I don't, I don't think you have to push it that hard. What, yeah. what I would recommend is that many people sh would benefit from adding their book to their sales process so that okay. the, the prospect is mailed a book even before oh, an important meeting happens. So you gotcha. mail them a book as a gift and they appreciate it, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. suddenly you've changed the whole dynamic of the meeting. Perhaps they're meeting with four or five people who could potentially fulfill their need, but only one of them is an author. Well, they're going right. to want to deal with the author, all other things considered, because the per that person has got expertise and then put it in a book and finish the book. The other cool yep. thing about a book is every, you know, expert, entrepreneur, leader asks is asked the same questions again and again and again. So why yep. not put your best answers right. into a book and let the book work for you while you are sleeping or playing golf or downhill skiing <laughs> like me? Yeah, I'm in all those. <laughs> Yeah, and then especially when you have the award, like how, how you, how you have and how you, you help your clients receive as well. Um, yeah. could you kind of talk a little bit about like best selling? What does that mean? I, I, I've heard so much yeah. different things about that. I know there's different lists and the speed of sell or the preset, like what is, what does best selling mean? Well, there's actually a criteria that you have to jump through in order to become a New York Times bestselling author, Wall Street Journal, USA Today, or an Amazon bestselling author. Um, mm. Amazon bestselling authors, they change. It's per category per hour. 
So there's a lot more possibility to right. authentically become yeah. a best-selling author on Amazon because you just have to uh, achieve certain sales volume yeah. on that day or in that hour in your exact category. Mm -hmm. But even wow. though, uh, you know, my intro, you kindly said I'm a best-selling award-winning author, I really push uh, fill your bank account, not your ego. Oh, I like it. Ooh. I'm down. Words to wealth. I'm down for that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Words to wealth. So instead of going for that one hit of becoming a New York Times bestselling author, that one blip in one hour of one day, I urge people to think of their book as a long-term evergreen asset that can right. work for them more like a farmer every year. You can have another crop of clients and every year it can help attract speaking engagements or, or podcast interviews or this yeah. and that. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, and so I think cool. what people think, uh, yeah, so many people get caught up with the New York Times bestselling yeah, yeah. uh, distraction. Mm, I agree. <clears throat> kind of coming back uh, around, and we've touched on it a little bit, but I kind of want to frame it up for the audiences. The topic today, which is why leaders, experts, and entrepreneurs should have a book. And we've kind of danced yeah. around the topic, but if you can kind of define clearly what the why behind doing it. I know we've touched on it. We've touched on a couple of different sure. spots for the audience. Why should they have a book? Right. So the <laughs> let's just get down to the, the basics. Yeah, really, 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 I got all excited yeah. and go off on tangents. Yeah. So yeah. No, I love it. I love it. I'm just, I'm just trying to kind of There's lasso this back in here. Exactly. So why, in my view, every leader, entrepreneur, and expert should have a book? There's multiple reasons. Let's just look at an entrepreneur for Perfect. to begin with. Yep. So an entrepreneur is in the business of solving problems at a profit. So okay. where do you go when you have a problem that you want to solve? Well, the number three search engine is Amazon. So people who go to Amazon looking for the solution to that problem will type in on Amazon. They'll look for somebody, you know, how can I get videos? How can I, you know, make videos go viral? How can I write a book? Whatever their question is. And people who have books will come up. Now, the nice thing about having a book on Amazon, the number three search engine, is people are buying on Amazon. Mm -hmm. On YouTube, they're looking for information. On Google, they're looking for information. On Facebook, you're interrupting them with your ad. Mm -hmm. But yep. on Amazon, they are ready to buy and usually already have their credit card pre-installed. And it's just a click of a button. It's a very low friction transaction and then your book arrives you are the authority you are the expert they've been glad to invest twenty dollars in learning what it took you decades to learn and if your book invites them to take the next step with you the ones who are ideal clients will do so the ones who can't afford your services will benefit from the book so everybody wins you're not ripping people off by sharing right. your wisdom in a book you are saving yourself explaining it again and again one to one instead you know, I just launched a client's book, um, Epic Begins with One Step Forward by Xander Sprague, and it became, you know, a best-selling award-winning book immediately. And the bigger long-term benefit is thousands of new readers found out about him in the first week. And wow. so now that helps him launch his speaking career to the next level. So there's another benefit. So uh, do you want to comment on that or shall I go into more uh, reasons why leaders and experts and entrepreneurs would benefit from a book? I think the things that you said are so true. Uh, where, where are people shopping? We talk a lot about that in the, in the media world is how does media influence the buying decision in all the different marketplaces? Right. Facebook, we're trying to disrupt them. They're buying on the website and on the marketplaces. Um, and I think from an entrepreneur standpoint, I think what you what you say about um, if there's an issue in the business and like where do you go to look? A lot of entrepreneurs are reading books. Yeah. And books are coming from experts that have done it for years. I just love all your points. That's my only comments. Is just just saying how much I, 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 I yeah I really think what you're saying is <laughs> yeah. so. True. And then so the true. book can be just the beginning of the relationship. You can say, hey, come to my website, download my PDF, get my series yeah. of oh, videos. Yeah. And also with a book, you can be, you can jump up to the next level of a, a status as a leader or an expert. You can get on podcasts like this one. You can speak on the TED stage. You can be invited to speak at conferences much more likely. And you're mm -hmm. then your peers or other, other authors. And so you can 
help each other or connect at a higher level of expertise. Mm -hmm. And one thing that we know about human beings, homo sapiens, we might mm -hmm. like it not to be so, but the truth of the matter is that people are really influenced by status. So when right. you are an authority, your status shifts and you're not just the groveling salesperson saying, please respond to my email. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you, you are an authority and you have something, you know, to provide there. And then one more thing. Well, there are more things, but I'll just say one more thing is that it's so satisfying to have a book because it's part of your legacy. You've sure. taken decades to learn something. How how satisfying it is for most to people to get to share that with their family, with their friends, with their clients, with their prospects. It's like, yeah, I learned a lot of things and I'd love to share them with you, but not one on one because it would take me, you know, too many hours. So it's a right. really great way to add value into the world and to leave a legacy that adds, you know, adds value to people who read it for decades to come. Mm -hmm. What's the average um, like size of a book that most people are writing these days? I know it's kind of an arbitrary. I mean, that's kind of weird, but like, I, I mean, they're not Harry Potter novels, obviously. If you're if you're writing on a topic, like, what what is it that you're kind of seeing, like, um, in terms of size? Yeah, I'm curious. Well, you you bring up a good point, which is that in order for a book to be useful as a lead magnet, it doesn't have to be as long as Harry Potter. So the nonfiction sure. books that I help my clients write are anywhere from about 100 pages or 15,000 words, which we can record in in a, in a several months. We just record interviews and I take the best of it right. and turn that mm -hmm. into a book. But then they've also got video that they can slice and dice on social media. So they get not only a book, but a bunch of uh, social media yeah, content, probably, maybe hundreds yeah, yeah. of pieces. Oh, yeah. So that, that would be a short lead magnet book, like my book, Marketing Fast Track. Um, and that you can still add a lot of value. Marketing Fast Track actually generated two hundred and fifty thousand dollars of new business in ninety days, and it was wow. based wow. upon transcribing a one-hour interview and then adding, you know, a bit more value at the beginning, at the ending. And people mm. can get that book for free. It's available for free on Amazon and other book platforms. Marketing Fast Track, or people who want to write more of a legacy book. My recent book, Turn Words into Wealth that has right. won nine book awards in 2021, you know, wow. this book, this probably takes most people about a year to turn out with my help. It's more like being pregnant with a baby, you know, nine months of interviews and explore, exploring right. and then, um, you know, the publishing, polishing, promoting process after that. But it's fun. When, when you look at a blank page and you're like, oh, I don't know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And versus talking to somebody who's exploring and pulling on, you know, yeah. what is, how did you learn that? What happened? Yeah, 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 what was surprising? Yeah. That's fun and easy. And then uh, the myth that I yeah. really want to bust is that the person who is the author of the book is the person whose life experience and business mm -hmm. experience it is. It mm -hmm. doesn't have to also be the person who types at the keyboard, okay. you know, so I don't know, you might have somebody else mastering this podcast. It's still your podcast. It doesn't matter if you right. have an editor or somebody else balance right. the sound or upload it to the various uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, that's cool. Absolutely. I would argue that most best-selling authors probably aren't writing their books. <laughs> like all the big names out there, like, yeah. you have a hard time Bingo. writing his books or Gary Vaynerchuk or any of those guys. Yeah, not writing no. Books. They don't have time for that. Bingo. Yes, well, the talk and the things that they're, that's in it and the wisdom is them, but yeah. they're, they're, they're not writing it. Yeah, like they got that. time for that. Like, <laughs> uh, that's right. Well, <laughs> Gary Vaynerchuk, he, he, uh, he easily <laughs> confesses that he works with a ghostwriter. Yeah. You know, and yeah. a lot of people do, but and they have for decades. Like Winston Churchill was exactly. with Ghost Writers, you know, back yeah. in the day when he won the Pulitzer Prize for uh, fiction because it's his ideas. But the cool right. thing is that today, thanks to you know wonderful platforms like mm -hmm. like this or Zoom, or it's easy yeah. to record yeah, yeah. that uh, kind of everyday experts, leaders, and entrepreneurs can afford to write a book and they can work with somebody like myself and my team yeah. or they can just record it oh well, it's easier to work with you know somebody interviewing you who who is working on your strategy to achieve your ultimate goal <laughs> totally is there a negative connotation to ghostwriting is that is that associated oh, yeah. with it i don't i 
I don't maybe it was a long time ago. But I don't think there is anymore. Yeah, I don't believe there is. I, I was just curious yeah, I what you were smart. <laughs> I think it's too. I'm not. A writer, I think it's. I, I think it's smart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like, is there a negative association to having a virtual assistant? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I agree. Right. Yeah. So, so how does somebody get started? Yes. Whether let's say someone that has budget or doesn't mm -hmm. have budget, like how does the how do you get started? I know there's like different avenues, but. I guess it's really trying to figure out what your top level message is, right? And then just work well, backwards. Well, I, I like I, everything to be reverse engineered. So first off, everybody listening can do this. It's like, what is your goal with your book? Who is the I've, ideal reader? And what is the problem you'd like to solve for them? We're talking about nonfiction books here. Right. So uh, what is your goal? Is your goal to build your business? Is your goal to become a speaker and jump to the next platform? You know, is your goal to stop and leverage your time so you're not answering the same question over and over again? Is your goal to pivot and see if a different kind of product or service could be accepted by the marketplace? Yeah. That's what marketing fast track was. It was like I was doing a certain business and I'm like, I wanted a quick, cheap test mm. to see if people would accept me or if they were interested in having my help with their marketing and their messaging. And so banged out a book very quickly, got right. a couple of TV interviews and within 90 days, you know, generated $250,000 of new business, not from selling books, from helping people solve their marketing and messaging problems. Yep. Um, so once you've reverse engineered it, then think, okay, so what are the seven things that people need to know in order to solve that problem? So, for example, if you two were right to write a book about how to make a video go viral, I'm not sure if that would be the, the hottest hook sure. for it, but that could be one. Mm -hmm. So there might be seven things that, that you want to share with people that you've learned from all your expertise. And one of those seven things could be, hey, you might want to work with BizBrez because we can help yeah. you, you know? Yeah. Um, but the other six things could be, you know, common sense things that people that no. you took to learn that could really benefit other people. And so then the next step is, do you want to write it or do you want to just record audios yourself answering those seven questions and going into your stories? You could do that yourself and then transcribe it and then hire an editor to polish it. And then uh, you can do the book cover, et cetera, and upload it to Amazon and the other platforms. So you could. Do all of that yourself. And there's a whole bunch more details on how to do it and how to monetize it, you know, written mm -hmm. down in the book, Turn Words Into Wealth, which I've just published um, because I can't talk. <laughs> I can't talk a whole book in half an hour. Um, mm -hmm. If people would like to do it with somebody like myself, then they can go to my website, aurorawinter.com and sign up for a, a free business breakthrough session. And then what I do is I work together with people for a month. I call it a discovery process. And I interview them like, why do you run a write a book? Who is your ideal client? You know, what, yeah. how much is your ideal client worth to you? You know, if your client is buying something for a dollar 59, it's different than if your ideal client typically spends six figures with you. Right. And so yep. how are your clients finding you now? What is your, uh, re your referral strategy? what would be, you know, the ideal kind of client, et cetera, et cetera. And after about a month, we have clarity on their business and the best kind of book that they could write. They can then take that clarity and go do it themselves. Or if they would like more help, then, you know, I'll, I'll interview them and help them create both the book and the podcast and the, the social media content and launch them to the next level as a thought leader. But it's really fun. And I think it's, it's so worth yeah. doing. Um, it's such a great uh, gift to be able to give people a link to Amazon anywhere in the world. They can get your book, you know? Right. That's pretty cool. That's phenomenal. Wow. How, yeah. much, uh, how many people are you seeing utilizing books for like mastermind groups or courses, like as a top level funnel? Is that pretty, Is that, I mean, I feel like that's pretty like in right now. It's pretty trendy, right? Mm. Give away yeah. your book, yeah. pay for shipping. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's very common. I don't have any exact figures on that. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to have some more precise figures on yeah. that. But what I do mm. know is that uh, when you use a book as the top of the line funnel, you know, I, I've done it myself with several businesses. Um, but I could stop talking about myself and I could mention my clients who are dentists. You know, they grew their business from 1.5 million to 6 million by getting my help to write their book 
which is called Keys to a Healthy Smile After 40, and then getting the media training they needed so they could become paid public speakers and get on podcasts and radio and TV. But the, the most important step with that book happened right at the beginning. So I don't want people to forget that you have a goal. What is your goal? And uh, so, you know, with them, their average patient who is over 40 was often spending 5000 or $10,000, whereas the people who just came in the door would spend, you know, one tenth of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So by writing a book that would I attract their ideal client who they were well, um, you know, well positioned to serve. They had a lot of expertise with crowns and other things that people over 40 need. It shifted wow. the average transaction value per patient from several hundred to several thousand dollars. And that grew their business from 1.5 to 6 million. And mostly they just give their book away because, hey, the cost of printing a book versus right. the you know, here, just Ooh, hand yeah. your friend my book instead of my brochure. <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, that's a great referral uh, yeah. process for them. So the book was used as a lead magnet at a local, in a local market? In a local like, market, yeah. They're in San wow. Diego. Yeah, A-plus family dentistry. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Amazing. Looks like and we're frozen. It, I, One sec. I'm sorry, Aurora. Uh -oh. I was making sure that. Are we frozen? Yeah. Are we frozen on your end? No. You're, you're okay. Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, it's is it dead? Just give us one sec. I don't I see I hear audio, but I don't see Yeah, it. we're fixing in. there we are. We'll we'll obviously get rid of all that. Hmm. We've got to change. Okay, let me let me I'll count us down and get us restarted. Yep. <clears throat> Three, two, one. So as I was saying, um this these these dentists they were using the book as a lead magnet in a local market because I feel like when people think books they're thinking like Amazon mass you true. know what I mean like give me as many people as I can sell my book to or get exposure to yeah it's amazing how high leverage a book is you don't have right. to give away or sell that many books for it to be a phenomenal return on investment it doesn't cost very much to print a book and if you have some expertise to share. It's a wonderful way for people to feel connected to you, both as a human being and also as an authority. And the mm -hmm. wonderful thing is nowadays with print on demand publishing, you can you can just go online and order one book shipped directly to your prospect. You don't have to have 5,000 books mm -hmm. in your garage like cool. Wayne Dyer had the first yeah. time. You know, so it's a really inexpensive and underutilized marketing technique. Right. I agree. Yeah. I know I have found to a, a lead Facebook ad once from a marketing agency and his book was like seven figure marketing agency. I think something like that. And I went and bought the book. <laughs> it yeah. was given yeah. or it was given away for free. I paid for shipping and handling to get the book. And it yeah. uh, mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. It does. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it does yeah. work. And you still remember that guy today yeah. because of yep. that. Absolutely. I do. Sure. I have to bring exactly the book. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Awesome. So as we wrap things up, what's one thing that you hope that our um, audience can take away from, from this episode? Oh, hey, I have the 90 day challenge. All right. This All is right. something oh, that yeah. everybody yeah. can do. I challenge you. So okay. 90 days, I would love people to read every day. It could be just for five minutes. It could be fiction or nonfiction. Perhaps read outside of what you normally read. Let your mind be stimulated by reading. Mm -hmm. Write every day. Again, it could be just five minutes. It could be you could just write down in your journal. I don't know what to write, but I'm writing every day. So there. And then um, review once a week. So I call that radical writing, radical reading, and radical review. And at the mm -hmm. end of the week, just glance at what you've written in your journal. Just glance at, hey, where did you underline in that book? What was it, the sticky mm -hmm. tags, or what did you, what, what were your notes? And I promise you, if you do this for 90 days, it will transform your life and business because you will notice the things that you are whining about and tolerating repeatedly. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, I should, I should probably just do something about about that or I should just accept it and let it go and forgive it right True. and you'll also you'll also notice wow you had so many rich new ideas from the books and by reviewing those 
once a week, you're like, hey, you know, maybe I'll talk to my business partner and maybe we could do that. And that would be really cool. And yeah. it's just such a wonderful way. And then as you're writing, reading and reviewing and you do that for 90 days, you just be amazed how wise you are and then how rich, richly stimulated you are by the, the reading and the, the net result will be awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love it. We'll talk about some actionable things we just heard there. That's it. amazing. I'm excited. Amazing, amazing. Wow. So where can people follow you? Get in touch. Get help with a book. Okay. Well, they can go to my website, aurorawinter.com, A-U-R-O-R-A-W-I-N-T-E-R.com. They can sign up for a free business breakthrough session there. And then I can see if they if they have a book in them and if I can help them with it. Or if they would just like to put a toe in their water, the best thing to do is go to Amazon or wherever you like to get books. Grab yep. a copy of Marketing Fast Track, the little book that launched a new business, $250,000 in 90 days. It is free on all platforms. And oh. then to really learn about the benefits of having a book and having your talking points down and having your clear communication, you know, grab yourself a copy of Turn Words Into Wealth Blueprint for your business brand and book to create multiple streams of income and impact. You know, I've learned over 